Mm. Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Today, let's do a quick tip video, OTB Thinker, and we're going to talk about this. You know what this is, you've seen it before. It's just a little laser light with a line. Magnetic base, got it at Harbor Freight, five bucks, I think. And I've shown you six or eight different ways to use this light on my bandsaw, on my jigsaw, on a circular saw, on the table saw, on the cross cut, the drill press. I put it on a level, all sorts of different places. So I want to show you another quick way, place you can use this. I just use this thing all the time now, I find. So I thought I'd share this with you. First off, let's talk about what I did. I put this plywood up here, and these are just full sheets of plywood. My ceiling is eight foot three inches, so I just put the eight foot piece up there, left a half inch gap at the top, or excuse me, a three quarter inch gap at the top to be able to put a piece in through that. And we'll get into that some other video. But anyway, <coughs> so when I put a piece up here, and I screwed it down in two screws to hold it in place once I have it right where I want it. Now I have to go back in every place that I have a stud, which are 16 inches on center apart, I wanted to put five screws in it, starting at the top, evenly spaced all the way to the bottom, each stud, so that this plywood is pretty well laid flat on that wall, won't, won't go anywhere ever. So uh, I couldn't guarantee to hit a, a stud here and I didn't even care really as long as I've got these in there on each stud all the way from beginning to the end these will lay flat here even though this seam is not on a joint itself I now have a clean slate and I can use this and do anything I want with it and make it put screws and anchor things to it anywhere because of plywood so the problem I had, and the reason I got this out, was when you put these sheets up here, and you take, and you're ready to do screws into each of those studs, I have a four foot sheet here where my studs are exactly, and how to follow them straight down to put screws in is the challenge. So what I did was, before I put the plywood up, I marked at the very top where that stud is, each one, so that I could see it after I put the plywood up. And I marked it at the bottom so that I could see it, where that stud was. Then all I had to do is I, I took a piece, I took a washer and a small piece of wood and put a screw through it, epoxied the washer on there so that the magnetic base will stick to this piece of wood, and I mounted it at the top exactly where that line was up there. I took another piece of wood and put a line on it and then on the floor where it's going to go I just line this up and line my line up to be exactly in line with where that stud mark is down here. So I have that line. Then I put this on the magnet up there Turned it on and point it down and line it up right here on my alignment mark. Turned it until my line is touching the line at the bottom. So now my line marker goes all the way to the floor and is on the line down here. And I have this red line now all the way down from the top to the bottom. <coughs> I can now easily go through here and zoom, 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 zoom. And I put all those screws in there. It makes it real easy. I take it, get back up there, take the screw out, move it over to the next stud, put it back on, turn it on, and then I did the next stud. Made it really easy to get all my screws in and hit a stud every time. Nothing fancy, no major jig, very simple, but very handy when you want to line up a bunch of screws or nails on something. These things are great to do that with. 
And again, I use it everywhere. It cost me five dollars, and I definitely got my money's worth. So, just another idea, an OTB thinker thing. Uh, I thought I'd show you real quick a little another quick tip of how to use this. It's been a while since I showed you how many times I use this. I use this all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna ramble on if I'm not careful. So, if you have any comments, any ideas or suggestions of what to do with this or not to do with it, leave them in the comments. I'd love to read them. If you learned something here or you like this video, please say so. Most importantly, though, come back again because we're nowhere near done around here. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.